Moving on to our second session of the day, the commercialization of sports is that aspect of sports uh, that involves the sale, display, or use of sport, or some aspect of sport, so as to produce income. For the ICC 2015 Cricket World Cup, the International Cricket Council declared a total prize money pool of 10 million for the tournament, which was 20% more than the 2011 edition. The money, the fame, the fans, makes sports events like this larger than life. Here to introduce our, okay, our, our moderator has just walked out the door, <laughs> but uh, without further ado, let me introduce the first speaker uh, for this session, Mr. PJ Roberts. Oh, okay. The moderator is back, so I'll hand the mic over to him to introduce our three speakers. Okay. His Royal Highness the Governor has uh, left the hall, and uh, in a critical uh, Malaysian honor, we would have to walk him back. Oh, sorry, running him back there. See, I'm doing a sports law, but I'm absolutely off feet. Uh, <laughs> so, if you're running this way, I'm already panting. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I must first apologize on behalf of my friend, Mr. Ben Ibrahim. He sent us a text, and unfortunately, I think he's clearly he's having a very bad uh, food poisoning. Uh, but I'm honoured to be able to invite my three fellow friends uh, who's uh, going to take up the stage. Uh, we'll do the session this way. I will invite all three speakers one by one after introducing them into the, on the stage. Um, we'll probably need to move some of the sofas. And then uh, the first speaker will be uh, PJ, followed by Kenny and then uh, Sasi. Uh, this session, the purpose of having this session, this is the only non-law session actually. And we were very keen to have this session because, especially for uh, many of you here who are lawyers, and perhaps you're learning to be sports lawyers, or, or if you already really understand or you want to know more, uh, these are the three gentlemen you must uh, meet, people like that. Uh, amongst us, there are also other sports companies in this, in this hall, uh, total uh, sports, you know, another very, very uh, aggressive sports company. We lawyers, we need to understand how they work what they want, what they do, to serve companies like them better. And of course, we can also charge them some fees and like, earn some fees. So uh, we'll talk about that later. But uh, 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 allow me the honour to first invite a very, very famous uh, uh, sports commentator. Uh, he's an Australian uh, soccer player. Um, pardon his uh, uh, Australian sound cool, but uh, he is actually quite a cool chap, and I've had the opportunity many times to have coffee over him, and I must say he's extremely knowledgeable in, in, in sports and particular football. He's from a company called Repucom, uh, one of the more, more established sports marketing company, and uh, he's in fact the senior vice president of the company and based in Singapore, and he's done under my friend, is a PJ Roberts. Please give him a round of applause. Um, he's a big time taiko in the uh, Badminton Association of Malaysia. He, even, he looks at the taiko and um, he has effectively changed the way badminton has commercialized themselves. Uh, in fact, if, uh, if you meet uh, badminton players, uh, especially national badminton players, they say that Kenny treats them uh, almost like they are, they are children of uh, Mr. Kenny Ko. So I have now the honor to invite. Mr. Kenny Cole, the general manager of Badminton Association of Malaysia. <laughs> Last but not least, this gentleman used to torment our football team when his country used to play in our league. Um, I, I used to see him play on TV, and in fact, I had the occasion to watch him play uh, many years ago at Mardeka Stadium when Kuala Lumpur was still playing in Mardeka Stadium. He was a uh, okay la, good player, la. you know, he's, uh, he was playing in the wrong country. Uh, <laughs> uh, but most importantly, he's an Everton fan. So he's the other four, really, the four of us, as it is now. So Salim and, uh, and um, Sasi are here. Uh, uh, permit me to invite Mr. Sasi Kumar from uh, Rick Kasper, another region of the country. At this stage, uh, what I'll do is that I will first invite Mr. PJ Roberts. He will present his uh, uh, talk. He has slides for you to share with, and then thereafter I will invite Mr. Kenny, and last but not least, Sasi. And then we will try to squeeze in as much Q&A. The reason why we are rushing this now is because 
Uh, I think PGMs will fly back to Singapore after this. So all of us would have taken a deep lunch break now. But I think, I hope you understand, uh, they have flown a long way here and I really want you to learn from them. Can I invite Mr. PJ Roberts? All of you. Well, thanks for blaming me for keeping everyone in here.